We've been given permission to use this wall to explain about linear impulse. Now, linear impulse is how you change linear momentum. Linear momentum is momentum is mass times velocity. The only way to change momentum is to apply a force for a certain amount of time. So the change in momentum, delta, change in momentum, is equal to the force applied times the time, delta t, over which it's applied. Now you can do this, this is very handy. For example, if you stop a car, it's going to the change in momentum is going to be the same. If you're going 60 miles an hour and you stop the car, the change in momentum will be from whatever the mass is times 60 miles an hour to zero. But the way you apply the impulse depends on how the force and the time are. If I stop it in a very short amount of time, the force is going to be very strong, like if you run into a tree. But if I use the brakes and I increase the amount of time, then the force component will be correspondingly smaller. This is the reason they use airbags. With an airbag, if you can change the time it takes to stop from maybe one millisecond to three milliseconds, that's going to be a third of the force. If you're, um, if you're hitting a, a golf ball, you may not be able to get any stronger, but if you can follow through and touch the ball longer as you're swinging through, then even with a certain force, you can get a bigger change of momentum. So let's try an example. Now the units would be force times time, like newton seconds or pound, pound seconds. It's the same as any units of momentum. So for example, let's say I've got this car. It's a, an American Motors Gremlin with the special Levi seats, very fancy. And uh, let's say it's moving at a uh, speed of uh, 40 meters per second. And it's got a mass of 1,000 kilograms. Now, the first question is, OK, so A. So, um, a, what's the momentum? Let's see, I've got momentum, I've got mass and velocity, I've got everything I need. So I'm going to put together a work equation. The momentum is the mass times the velocity, which is a thousand kilograms times. 40 meters per second. You know, momentum's a vector, so we should probably have uh, we should probably have a direction. So let me amend that. Over here where it says 40 meters per second, I'll say it's moving 40 meters per second to the right, RT. And then when I come up with this answer, I've got to have a right there because that's the direction it's going. I get 40,000. kilogram meters per second. To the right. 